current state of the real estate market right now is crazy. Rates are high and this is the worst time to buy a house. If this is how you're thinking, let me give you some reasons why this is a great time to buy. What's going on everyone? My name is Brian Sumo Sumardi and I'm your mortgage consultant. I'm here to share my experiences to help you get into your next home. So let's get into it. Currently in this market, we are able to do some price negotiations unlike the past two years in 2020 and 2021. Homes are still scarce, meaning we have a lack of inventory still, but not that many buyers are able to qualify to finance their new home. This gives the buyer and the realtor the power to negotiate prices. Hey, side note, don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram at Sumo Estates and at Brian Sumardi. It helps me reach more people with this great information. Thanks. The next benefit in today's market is that you don't need to waive inspections. If you weren't shopping for a home in 2020 or 2021, inspections were out the door just because of how hot the real estate market was. People had to waive inspection contingencies just to win their contracts. Inspections are usually an additional cost, but it allows you to hire someone who has knowledge on home structures. These are things that could easily be missed by the naked eye or someone who doesn't know. Small things and big things, maybe the floors may not be leveled or there might be mold in the basement, you wouldn't know. And these things are important. I personally don't know how to figure out those kind of things, so I'd gladly hire someone to give me peace of mind and make sure my new home will be safe. I was recently at a sales summit for my company, and my CEO mentioned that in the previous two years of the market, there were a lot of people in 2020 and 2021 who had buyer's remorse, and they had to rush through the process of buying a home. Also, in this current market, you are able to ask for seller concessions. Buyers have the ability to get up to 9% in seller concessions, meaning the seller will help you pay your closing costs or down payment. If the sellers are desperate, seller concessions are always viable. Generally, conventional loans with a down payment of less than 10% are allotted up to 3% of seller concessions. Generally, seller concessions are based on the loan program and how much down payment you put down. For conventional loans with less than 10% in down payment, you are allotted 3% in seller concession. Between 10 to 25% in a down payment, you are allotted up to 6%. 25% and above, you are allotted that 9%. For FHA financing, you're allotted up to 6% down the line. For VA loans, you are allotted up to 4% in seller concession. And for USDA, you are allotted 6% as well. I'll include a chart somewhere above and we'll break it down for you. Feel free to pause. And for first time home buyers, FHA financing may be ideal. Imagine only having to put 3.5% down and roughly around 2% in closing costs. That's around 5.5% total. If the seller agrees to give you a seller concession of 6%, you just won. A buyer may be able to acquire a brand new home with zero money out of pocket. The buyer would just have to qualify their income and just have to pay for their future mortgage payments. Again, this is just another perspective. If you're ready for a consultation, check the links in the description and I'll catch you in the next one.